Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm Alicia. And welcome back to another air fryer video. Okay, so today we're going to do like deep fried state fair food. So today we're going to do the uh, viral hacks um, deep fried Twinkies that have a real <laughs> crunch on the outside and a um. gooey, gooey, creamy center. And then our second recipe, we're going to do the deep fried Oreos, which I hear are amazing. Mm -hmm. but I don't know. We'll see. And uh, you guys let us know what you think. And then our third and final recipe is going to be um, cinnamon and sugar donuts. That sounds delicious. I'm excited. So let's get started. All right. See you in the kitchen. Your best. You guessed it. In the air fryer. State fair season only comes around once a year, but I found okay, a way guys, to enjoy the deliciousness. This is the video. Right at home. Air fry at 400 for about two minutes. The hack that we are going me? to do. Y'all gotta trust me on this. You've gotta try these. So good. Okay, guys, so this is uh, the deep fried Twinkies. All you are going to need is a box of Twinkies. As you can see, I've already unwrapped all of those Twinkies. So let's just go ahead and place another Twinkie here, just like that. And then we're just going to pop them into the air fryer. Okay, so we're just going to slide our Twinkies into the air fryer. I've set it for 375 for five minutes. And... Oh, wow, look at that. They are really blowing up. All right, let's get those bad boys out of there. Okay, let's get these guys out of here. Those look ready to go. Let's open up our air fryer doors. Ooh, look at those. Those are wow. golden brown and crunchy. Okay, so look at these. They look golden brown. I cracked one open there, as you can see what I'm gonna do it for you here. So the texture feels really crunchy on the outside. So I'm gonna split it open. You can see the cream on top as it kind of oozes out there. So here that's what it looks like and <laughs> cheers mmm mmm that is crunchy on the outside it's pleasantly delicious mm-hmm and the cream it's warm the filling mm-hmm mmm uh, it's like the crunch of a corn dog mmm it's really good it is good. It's like the state fair. Mm-hmm. So, what do you rate this, Alicia? I'm going to rate this a nine. It's really good. And I'm going to give it an eight. But it's really good, and I highly recommend this video. I mean, oh. <laughs> not this video, guys. I highly recommend this recipe. Super simple, easy, and a tasty treat. Yeah. So, let's get to our next recipe. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon sugar donuts. Okay, so uh, simple ingredients for the cinnamon sugar donut. All you're going to use is um, sugar, cinnamon, and Pillsbury biscuits. I got the honey flavored. And then take some cinnamon and sugar and mix it together. And then you can use um, whatever you want to cut out the hole, a knife. Uh, you can use a bottle cap um, or a cake cutter, cookie cutter. I just simply chose a bottle cap, so I'm just going to put it in there just like that. Since I don't have a cookie cutter, <laughs> cut it out just like that. Makes the perfect donut hole, okay? And now we're going to pop that into the air fryer. Okay, so here are our donuts. We're just going to put them in the air fryer, and then we are going to... Uh, turn on the air fryer. We are going to put it at. Okay, and there they go. We are cooking it's away. Six minutes at 375. Okay, look at those golden brown deliciousness. Now we're going to soak these in butter and dip them in cinnamon and sugar. Okay, so now I'm just going to take these and dip them in butter, just like that and repeat okay here we go hey guys everyone, I'm Bijou, and I'm this chef is the recipe the chef for cinnamon sugar donuts, donuts that we are going to uh, 
Coffee. Preheat your air fryer to 350 exactly. and lay out your biscuit dough. Using a piping tip or a soda bottle cap, cut circles from the center. This is the half we're going Spray to do. Spray basket with olive oil and lay dough in a single layer to cook for six to eight minutes. While they're cooking, mix together a half cup of sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. Melt three tablespoons of butter and brush on the donuts immediately after baking. Roll your donuts in the cinnamon sugar mixture, making sure to get all of the nooks and crannies. And now they're ready to enjoy. They're slightly more dense than regular okay, donuts, so but let's the taste give it a try. Two. Now we're just going to take our cinnamon and sugar, place it over all of the donuts. And boy, these guys, I'm not kidding, these smell so good and buttery. This smells incredible. And I'm just going to turn them all over and then we'll grab the other side. Be afraid to be generous with your donuts. Your cinnamon and sugar. Uh huh. And dust them in butter. These look incredible. I'm just gonna pour the rest on there. Okay. Okay, we need a. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, look how beautiful these came out. They are so pretty. So we soaked them, drenched them in butter with cinnamon and sugar, and I think they came out just beautiful. And look at all those flaky layers, like just super flaky. So I'm gonna give this a try. It's like a biscuit donut. Mmm. 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 It's really buttery and cinnamon and sugary. It's like a biscuit and a cinnamon roll put together. Flaky, crispy, and soft in the inside. Mm hmm kind of like a cronut, but a biscuit and a donut. A bonut? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's really good. It is really good. These are fantastic. They make a great breakfast snack, campfire snack, an all-time around snack. <laughs> so what are we rating this, Michelle? Um, I think they're really, really good. I'm not going to uh, kid around here. So I'm going to say that these are, I'm going to give them a seven and a half. I'm, uh, what did you say, Alicia? I'm going to say eight and a half. Mm. For our first time trying these, eight and a half. Mm -hmm. I really, really recommend this recipe. Mm. It's really super quick, it's fast, it's delicious, it's filling. And hear the crunch. Mm hmm. Like right on the go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Really good. Breakfast table, before school, before work. Anytime, really. So, yeah, we like it. Okay, so let's go on to recipe number three deep fried Oreos. And it's to prep and cook. And let me tell you what I'm gonna make. I'm making air fried Oreos. You're just gonna need a crescent roll, cut it into eight pieces, grab an Oreo, and wrap the dough around the Oreo. Do that eight times, and then you're ready to put it in your air fryer. I'm using the Kuzuri air fryer. It's big enough to fit all eight of them. Put it in for only five minutes, and they look so golden and beautiful. Dust it with some powdered sugar, and then enjoy. So all you need are Pillsbury Crescent Rolls and Oreo cookies. And you can add powdered sugar or sugar if you like. So I'm simply just going to take a cookie and I'm going to wrap it up just like this. And to, so it looks like that. We're just going to wrap it up just like that. And then we're going to do that and repeat eight times or more. Okay, so we have put the dough on top of our Oreos. We've wrapped them. We're gonna go ahead and put them in the air fryer. Up one more level, just like that. Set them for five minutes at 350. And we're just gonna go like that and start. Okay, as you guys can see, these are browning very nicely. We are about to pull these out of the oven. Air fryer oven. Okay, right, let's pull these beautiful golden babies out. Oh, look at those. Look how golden and perfect those came mm. out. Can't wait to try these. 
Okay, so you can use powdered sugar or sugar. You can dip them in peanut butter or chocolate, whatever you want. But they were out of powdered sugar, so we're just going to make sure do with sugar, guys. Okay. So, welcome back to the third recipe of this And video. our final recipe. Yes. So, boy, these came out looking really beautiful. Look at that. They're like just these fat little golden nuggets of goldenness. <laughs> really cute little things. Little fat biscuits. Yeah, so um, a deep fried Oreo. I've never tried one of these that, before, so I'm going to crack this guy right open so you guys can see. Mm. Look at that. It tastes like chocolate cake. I'm going to give it a try here. It tastes like a delicious chocolate cake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like um, a chocolate, maybe shortcake, chocolate Oreo cookie shortcake. Mm-hmm. And a chocolate biscuit brownie. It's really good. So, Michelle, um, what do you rate this one? Mm-hmm. Well, it is really good. It's not as great as I thought it would be. It's not my favorite either. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to probably give it about a, a six. And I think I'm going to do the same. Probably about a six and a half. So, but nonetheless, everyone else has their own opinion of what they like. Um, mm -hmm. But this is really fun to make. Um, and like I said, it tastes like chocolate cake, so you can't go wrong there. Mm -hmm. And what was your favorite out of all three recipes? Mm -hmm. I think mine was... The cinnamon sugar donuts. And mine was the deep fried Twinkie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was out of this world. So, um, we had really fun making these recipes. And if you guys like these videos and you want us to do more air fryer recipes, let us know. And we had so much fun doing this. Um, yeah, everything was great. All these hacks were really great to try. They're really easy and they're fun. And we definitely recommend you try all of them. They're super easy to make. Great, yeah. great thing to do with your friends. Like you just want to make fast, simple, easy, fun snacks. Mm -hmm. Air fryers, the way to go. Right. So we're gonna say goodbye, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, guys.